All right, would you like to learn how you can create a PDF out of the content that you have on your page? So what that means is, let's say you have this content and you have this print button here. When you click on it, you will get this dialog box. And when you click on save, and this will save your content, this particular part of it into PDF. How cool is that? If you want to learn how to do that, make sure you watch this whole video because I'm going to show you step by step how to do that. And unlike the other video, I'm going to try something a little different here, which I'm just going to fly right through it. So here we go. So we have this button here. We have this content. So let's look at the code real quick. And the code is right over here. This particular container basically is just a, a div with a table and some formatting going on. So I'm not going to go too much into the formatting of how do you create this. This could be any container, any div, whatever you have. So pretty much you could literally just say, hey, I want to print this out as a PDF. You could do that. Where the magic really happened is up here. And then what you need to do is you need to add this script into your in your header or somewhere else i would just leave this in the link below in which you can literally just copy this whole thing and paste it into here so once you include this small library and then this is where it happens i'm using jquery and those of you who know i absolutely love jquery it is the best thing ever i think and it still is in my opinion and then what if you want to learn more about it you can go to this url and i will leave a link in the below for you to download this course so don't have to worry about it you have to cop pause this video and then you know write down the code where people have done it in the past uh, which i don't understand it even though i specifically tell them like there's a link in the below you click on it to download it it is that simple right so and then what do you want to do is this is the person who created it. I am not taking credit for it. I just found it because I have used this library on a countless number of projects. So I figured I'd just share it with you to help you out. So you include it, like I said before, this library over here. And then this is just a click event button. Basically what that means is if I go here, when I'm clicking over here, this particular uh, event is going to take place. Let me zoom it in a little more so you can see it and uh, maybe this will be good all right so this click event right here and then this is the url you can go find out more information about it and then the thing that i discovered even though i'm using jquery in here this particular library you have to control call the container that you want the content of the container like this it doesn't like jQuery. I tried it. It doesn't work. I don't know why, but if you are the owner of this particular uh, library, please let us use jQuery. So rather than using it this way, you I could just call it like a dollar sign and then container name where there's a class of div, but for some reason you have to do it this way. So what I did was I just called it, assigned it to a variable. There are several different ways you can call this. And the most easiest way to do it is to I'll do it this way so it'll be easier. So right now, the easiest way to do it is this is the plug function and then you call the uh, from where the element is coming from and then this is the command you save it. And let me show you what happens when you do this. So if I refresh it, I click on this and you will notice this right here, the file, it automatically just says file. And I have multiple files here. That's why I'm saying uh, in the bracket one, but if you want to, uh, have a control of what is the file name that you want to output to the person can save it. It might be related to your particular uh, project that you want to specify, like your project name, underscore, some random string, dot PDF. What I found is if you use this, there is another function that you basically call this. Then you call another function called set and then within the set there is a object called file name and you can specify it to whatever you want and then the same thing will happen before you call the element you save it and that's that so let's see how this looks so we go over here refresh it you click on this and then now we have this random string of code that will specify like this is just a random string 
But if you want to use it for your project as a branding, you could put like, a, I don't know, callwithmark.com forward slash, not a brother, I will say like, um, let me just show you real quick. So I'll go over here and I'll say, this is the random strength that I'm using as part of the awesome functions library. You can check out awesomefunction.com. So let's say if I wanna put something in front of it, so I'll just put like a code with mark underscore this. And then this will create whatever the content of your HTML and will create it into a PDF. So I'll ref refresh it. Let's do it one more time. Click on print. And now you will see this will say code with the mark and then some render straight followed by period and then PDF. If I save this and in here you will see there is this text and also it has a picture in it as well. And speaking of picture, I do want to point this out. If you try to include a picture within your uh, container, so in this case, I'm using it, let's go all the way up. I think it's the one at the bottom. So if you are including, let me wrap this up so it will look a little pretty. So this is the picture. So this is a local file, which is located right here. And I'm just giving a full URL. But if you have this to external source, which means it's from like, a, I don't know, somewhere else that is now part of your server, it doesn't work. I do want to point that out to you. It doesn't work depending on where it is a calling field. I try to call it from another placeholder website and then it shows up in here. But when you go to print it, it doesn't print. So that's a little a bug in there. Like if you are the owner of the library, uh, you might want to look into that. All right, so let's move on. And then this is the second way in which you can specify the file name. And the third way is, which gives you a little more options in which you can set the margin to be one and you can set the page uh, file name to be whatever you want as before. And then you could tell the image to be JPEG and the quality, you can set it to that. You can see it up to two and the unit, it could be inches, millimeter, whatever in the format, that would be your letterhead and the orientation will be your landscape or portrait. So let's check out this as compared to the one before. So let's refresh it. And here we go. Let's look at this orientation. You, it, you will notice it's a little different. So now we have a little one inch margin from the top and the side and the bottom as well. So it looks a little pretty. So hopefully that helped you. If it really did help you, make sure you, you know what to do. Subscribe to the YouTube channel as well as get your free gift from by going to codewithmark.com forward slash gift and that's going to help you speed up your web development project all right guys happy coding i'll see you in the next video